This is the moment which claimed 34 lives and cast a dark cloud over post-apartheid South Africa. The Marikana massacre has raised critical issues about the right to life, human rights and the role of police in maintaining peace and order. As this community still battles the trauma of all that was lost, some of them will have to recount the details which led to this fateful day before a commission of inquiry. The commission's work will look at events from the 9th of August when thousands of Lonman miners launched a wildcat strike demanding 12,500 rand per month. On the 10th of August, four miners were shot and injured, allegedly by striking colleagues while on their way to work. On the 12th of August, violent clashes broke out between rival unions NUM and AMCU. Two days later, on the 14th, 10 people had been killed in the strike, including two security guards and two police officers. A heavier police presence was then deployed to Marikana. And on the 16th, 34 miners were shot and killed. And I wish to invite the Honourable... Opposition parties say the Commission must ask some difficult questions. Who is this authority who had the right to say to the police, shoot with life ammunition that was definitely going to take life? Who is this authority? The Commission must uncover every factor and decision which led to this incident. Its work must be data-driven and not subject to political interference. The Commission may take months to finish its work and its mandate is wide. Under the spotlight will be the role of the police, We've all been saddened. politicians, violent striking workers, and of course, even those who run the mining industry in South Africa. It may make recommendations to ensure this never happens again. But in the end, it's unlikely that anybody will come out of this completely without blame. Kathy Mushashana, Johannesburg.